Hello, this is Dr. Anusha, Consultant Neurophysician, ABS Hospital, Podium Mall, Tori Choki. Today we will be discussing about stroke. There are two kinds of stroke when it comes to central nervous system. The first one being an ischemic stroke in which there is decreased blood supply to a particular area which causes the symptoms. Or the second one in which there is a rupture of a blood vessel which causes accumulation of blood in the brain which can cause certain symptoms. Today we will be discussing about ischemic stroke. In ischemic stroke, due to the decreased blood supply to a particular area, depending upon the area involved, the patients may present with various symptoms like hand weakness, leg weakness, speech disturbance, drooping of the face, visual symptoms which are of sudden onset. When the patient presents within the first four and a half hours with the onset of these complaints, we have to get a CT brain done to see if it is a ischemic stroke or a bleed. Depending upon that, we will evaluate the patient. So if the patient has an ischemic stroke and they present to the hospital within first four and a half hours, we will do something called thrombolysis. This injection is very important injection and it can lyse the clot and increase the blood supply to that particular area and it can cause reversion of the symptoms. So it is very important that when the patient develops stroke complaints within the first four and a half hours, it is important that they go to a hospital. So what are the risk factors for developing these kind of strokes? So if the patient is in hypertensive, a diabetic, has high cholesterol, has bad habits in the form of alcohol consumption, smoking, good cough or fine chewing, all these increase the risk of the patient developing a stroke. So when the patient develops a stroke, we need to prevent the patient from developing a stroke again. So how do we evaluate these patients to prevent further development of stroke? We check his uh, sugar values, we control his BP medications, we get a 2D echo done to see if there's any cardiac event that has precipitated the stroke or we get a CT cerebral and you're done to see or a carotid Doppler to see if there is any blood clots that are present in the blood vessels that supply from the heart to the brain. If the clots are significant, there can be a surgery done to remove the clots. Otherwise, if the clots are not significant, just starting medications. How do we normalize the patients once they have developed limb weakness in such kind of patients? When the patient develops a stroke, once if they come uh, to the hospital within the first four and a half hours, they, the symptoms revert within two to three days. But however, some patients will have established weakness. These kind of patients are very well helped with the TMS as well as physiotherapy. That is transcranial magnetic stimulation and extensive physiotherapy, both of which are available at our center. We wanted to make this video in order to uh, create awareness among patients to bring the patients within the first four and a half hours to the hospital so that we can be of better help to the patients. Thank you. Healthy Hyderabad. Stay healthy. Stay informed.